Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Evil Extreme here. Here we are on Harvest Valley, it's a map created by Bart Snow MV3. It is 110.47 megabytes to download. It's available for all platforms, PC, Mac, PlayStation and Xbox. On description there is no recording mod stated. However, when I downloaded the map and tried to start the map, it said I needed the crude oil production by Bart Snow V3, so downloaded that. But yeah, that is what, another 49.95 megabytes, so overall about 160 megabytes. But for a map like this, and yeah, if I to describe the map, it is a farmer's paradise where if you just want to farm to your heart's content with some minor productions, big fields and that, then this is the map for you. So yeah, let's look at the mod description first of all. I present to you a fictional map of Harvest Valley. The map contains one functional farm, 20 fields, one meadow, DLC precision farming, buying animals, several different cell stations, train, vehicle and pedestrian traffic, machine shop, gas station, forestry area, 20 toys to find, BGA, crude oil and forestry machine for starters. You'll find more yourself and I wish you a long game. And yeah, this is a awesome map. This is like it's one of those maps where it's simple, but also yeah, just absolutely love maps like this where you can just crack on, have all the equipment you, you want to start off with, and get cracking on. In terms with slot count, unfortunately, on my screen doesn't show, but on new farmer mode, it is one thousand two hundred and twenty-one. On start from scratch and farm manager, that goes down to. 1077 that is with the equipment all it removes is the sheds once you remove all the equipment it goes down to 748 slots you can get it down to 737 if you remove the bga with the pda what do you start off with on new farmer mode so you know, fields 10 and 12 a little bit of forestry area and plot 14 and yeah this is going to be your main functional farm you do have all the animals, large fuel tank, bell and pallet storage, large silo, I doubt that's a multi fruit one, don't think so, horse pastures and that, so you got everything you need. And yeah, these are all base game stuff, there's no custom stuff with that. And yeah, with the map, you also have a green elevator there to the left. Also, this could be your shop area, so we'll have a look at that as we go around. Also got lime station that and small market stall. As we head up north, you got another cell point with your animal deer ship. Then head to the top left corner, you got your train, so green mess silo, rent the train and green mess silo. That will lead to Gold Crest Valley. And yeah, in terms with field prices and that, it's actually quite expensive. It goes from about three hundred and twenty four grand. That is for field 10. And to the, like, the largest field, field 23, plot 23. That is 2.1 million pounds, dollars, or euros. So, pretty expensive, I'd say. <laughs> but, anyways, as we head down further south, you got your productions down here. So, you got your green mill, bakery, oil mill, sugar mill, and your small refinery. So, that's where the crude oil production comes from. But besides from that, that's the only fuel refinery you've got. And yeah, you also got the forestry areas. They're worth upwards to about 300 grand. You do have small forestry areas for about 60 grand. So if you want to start with doing a bit of forestry, then crack on. But what starting equipment do you start off with? So let's look at our vehicles. So we own pretty much everything you need to get started off with. So with small tractors we've got the Massey Ferguson 6S.135 for our medium tractors we've got the Massey Ferguson 8S.205 the Massey Ferguson 7S.155 also you got the John Deere SR7 R270 large tractor for your horse you've got the New Holland CH7.7 .7. you also own two rotten equipment for forestry so the tree harvester and the tree forder to transport the logs. 
For Teddy Handers, we've got the new Holland TH7.42 Elite. For vehicles, pickups and that, we've got the Pickup 2017 and the Mahindra Retriever. For your trailers, we've got the Crampy Big Body 750S and two Brattner Z180 51 2XL Powerflex. For your Ogre Wagons, we've got the Bergerman GTW 330. Also got the 28 foot header for the combine. Got the Elho Scorpio 550 Rock Picker. A Lemkin Titan 18 Plow. Cultivators, we've got the Lemkin Carrot 12 500 KUA. Also got the Lemkin Smagrat 9 500 K. For your disc carriage, you got the Agrimas BTC 50H. Also, you got a Kuhn HR 4040 Power Harrow attached with a Kuhn HR 64 RCS plus BTFR 6030, along with the Kuhn Ventra 4030 and the Kuhn TF 1512. For planters, we got the Amazon Preca 4500 2C Super. For rollers, got the Dalbo Power Roll 1230 HD. Fertilizer spreader, got the Amazon ZS TS3200. For your baiters, got the Massey Ferguson RB4160 V ProTech. And for your bell loader, you got the Ansys RBM2000s. You got the Maxi Universal Bucket for your Tayhanser. And then lastly, you got the header trailer, the Hardy 40 foot or 40 meter trailer. So, yeah, that is your starting equipment. And also you got all these buildings, they're all base game and that. Just go into your drone mode, got your house, got your sheds and that, silo, and you got your animal pens. You also got two bunker silos. Also you got your I guess that's herbicide and lime storage. Or liquid fertilizer and herbicide. Got your feeding robot, cow pasture. Got another shed over here. Another shed where most of your equipment's going to be. So yeah, like so, if we tab over to a Massey there. So yeah, got a lot of storage, a lot of space to store anything and everything you wish to your heart's desire. Got your Mahindras and that, Rotnas and that. So in the field, you've got your combine officer and another Massey ready. So literally, once you look at the map, you are set to go and all the vehicles do have somewhere to tear 120 hours 87 hours 67 87 hours 34 so yeah it's all been fairly used but still functional quite a bit dirty so he's cleaning off but apart from that not too bad so since now we've looked around at the PDA and that what you start off with in that I think it's time to tour the map, so we're going to start off down here in the pickup, have a quick loop around the yard, head out, and then we'll start heading south, look at our productions there, and then we'll head up north, and then sort of loop around, and then we'll come back down to the BGA, so let's hop into the pickup. So there we go, we've got the pickup, and one thing I did forget to show, we do have contracts, so got a variety of selections I just randomly selected two and yeah 33 grand for spraying and 30 grand for the harvesting so yeah decent size fields for contract work and actually decent pay as well so sure let's get rid of the help menu sec I have four relieved yards let's actually do a little quick loop around so yeah you do start off with a quite a large yard area and of course, if you don't like how these sheds are, don't like the, all the equipment, of course you can customise to your heart's content. But yeah, for starting map now, for like starting farm, actually it's not too bad. Nicely done. Love the level of detail that's gone into the map, and just to make it look, yeah, quintessentially a good map to play on. And yeah, that seems to be like the bare minimum sander, but I'm quite surprised with how some maps can just leave you a bit underwhelmed to start off with, but anywho. 
Oops, fixed the uh, camera there a sec, or we fixed the map. So yeah, we're going to head right out of here. Boost the drawn. And yeah, like, the map itself has got nice level of detailing. And we drive on the right, so that is America. Or at least somewhere in America, I'm assuming. And yeah, like, in terms of like, the boundary now, it is all blocked by forestry, pretty much. But yeah, you do also have like the hills in the background. So yeah, let's make sure we're going the right way. So yeah, we head down the road, this is where your production is going to be. I don't know, actually I do like that, I sort of like, rock that these into a bridge. Got a little wall tower down here as well. So yeah, this is going to be like your main little hub area for your productions. And compared to the map overall, it doesn't really take up too much space, so... Obviously I'm not going to show all the productions and that. Just going to have a quick look. So grain mill... Oh no, sugar mill, sorry. Yeah, it's pretty much standard recipe, so... Nothing custom on there. And yeah, in terms of sheds and that, there's no custom sheds. Oh yeah, I forgot to show and double check. So you always got your crude oil stuff in that. But besides from that and anything else I put in, I was always going to put some money in that. But yeah, also got your productions in that. And yeah, again, you just got your crude oil productions. Nothing else. Go to landscaping mode, painting. No custom textures, no custom trees or plants. So yeah, I just thought to quickly show that. So yeah, got your productions and for your fuel refinery, that's right over here. All right, so I ended up putting some money in. So let's have a little quick look at this production because it has been a while since I've looked at one of these like crude oil productions. So yeah, just start off with, you got your refinery. So all you need to extract the oil and from there you can get your paraffin, kerosene, mirror oil, bearing grease and diesel. As far as I'm aware, there is no in terms with extraction and for like the mods and that. Actually just have a quick look, you do have a couple of options. Got like the big pump and actually can be OD production error, because if we can, that would be nice. Oh dang it, no, what again? Why is there like with certain maps and that? Either you can owe the store area, which I just looked at this year before recording this, doing the Lost World, or you have maps like this where you just can't own the production area. Again, fair enough, can't sell the buildings. I guess that's why so they don't let you sell the buildings, but still, wish, yeah, that was an option, but again, that's a personal preference. But yeah, back into our production tab. So yeah, you have that big oil pump. And yeah, I think that is it pretty much in terms of how you extract the oil pump. Oh no, no, you also got, yeah, got the oil well, haven't you? So pretty much whack a well anywhere you want. If it was me, I'll say it'd be more in like the forestry area. So yeah, for example, head into the woodland. You know, in the woods and that, finding oil and that. I think, to me personally, that makes the most sense. Well, at least to me it does. I could be, again, I could be wrong, but... Haven't been proven wrong yet, so I was going to keep on that. But anyways, back into the pickup, so that is our production area. As we head back down to the road, we'll sort of have a little loop around and then head to the vehicle store. But yeah, I'm sort of like taking it steady to the store now. Yeah, again, yep, yeah, fields and that, all good, so it's got crop in. Got the forestry boundary. But again, it's just sort of off, it makes it all blend together in a cohesive way in a way. Yeah, it sounds weird and that maybe to some, but... Yeah, at the end of the day, it's a very simple map in terms of... There's no, like, overpowering, nothing... 
big and bash about it. It's one of those maps where you just come on and farm. And you've got like huge fields, big roads and that, so if you would go extreme like with the X9 stuff and that, then yeah sure, crack on to do whatever you want with that. Anyways, here we are at the dealership, so there's a dealership over here where your stuff will spawn. And over here got your fuel station. Do you got your cell points and that. And then over here is where you buy your line. And your farms are where there's no like triggering ads for it. Or there's no visible marks. Because yeah, I got my interactive markers on and nothing's popped up but what you can do is just simply bring your equipment over to around where you see this like dirt textured area and yeah just employ the machinery up and yeah boom bobs your uncle and that's how you fill up your stuff with lime also at the end here we've got your vehicle workshop trigger and that of course like so Oh yeah, whilst we're here, just do a cheeky repair and repaint. Fuel, we are good. Actually, actually, having a look at that. So, yeah, it must be like a custom asset of sorts. Or is it somewhere like, because it's under containers or cell points? Because it wouldn't surprise me otherwise. Like crude oil production, nope, not interested in that. Yep, can't find anything, so yeah, a nice little asset there to be added. Didn't quite realise that the first time around, I just thought it was something with in relation to the uh, crude oil production mod, but I guess I'm not wrong on that. But anyways, we head up north, so now let's hook a little left here. And yeah, also got your, I think it's the and the ship right if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, so all you got your Alan D ship here. This is where you'll sell like your bells and that. And ooh, one collectible. One down and a night to night to go and yep I knew it was good once it said toys in the hundreds and these three fouls. I knew exactly what it was going to be. But anywho, let's head down here now. And uh, yeah, I think what we'll head to next is the train area. Because I yeah, want to see, again, yeah, is there any custom assets to it or what? But yeah, like, see, you got like, the huge forestry areas and that. Just properly densely packed, so. Again, if you should all come on to forestry, you can. There is enough forestry to get yourself going. And yeah, just use one of the damn cum planters and that, tree sapling planters. Or a space game one, or a modded one. But yeah, here we are at the train silo. And yeah, Green Western looks very generic. So I think we see a lot so the next one you want to see is the train so there we go one thousand dollars and that's you rent an hour and yeah i want to do a second let's wait for the train see if it's something we've seen before or if it's something different so right the train is approaching and it's approaching from the east side good little thing to know but what does the train look like? I'm assuming, if that's a guess, it'll be, ah, uh, what will be, uh, similar to what we're used to struggling for words here today. Oh no, right, it goes from left to right, it's just how it was arrived. And yeah, just your generic train. And actually, I do like the track layout, like, rather than it being where you stop is part of the main line there's actually a little separate track section 
that person I do like because that's how it would be in real life. You have your divisions in train tracks. And yet again, it seems such a small thing to swear over about, but again, little things like that, a little bit of detail of realism. Have your segregation of tracks. But yeah, so anyways, now we'll head out of here. And yeah, I think we'll head down north. Down north. Down south and yeah, we'll go to the BGA, have a look at the Johnson's market in that. And then yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty much the map tour done. So right, we just head south from the railway side and all that. I thought we'll just pop into the BJ because I'm always curious to see how big the BJ area is. And yeah, overall, it is quite large. Like, look, your three huge bunker silos got sheds there for storage and that. And yeah, in terms with the BJ and that, interactive markers is all that is on. So nothing pops up initially. So to own the BJ, 316 grand. You know what? I am not complaining about that. So yeah, it's 500 kilowatts, not 1 megawatt. As I saw it, it could be a hit miss between the two. And yeah, of course, once you've obviously purchased it, you can sell this, get rid of a few slots and that. Yeah, so for 590 grand, decent profit there. And yeah, again, just having a look at the recipes. It's all generic, all base game stuff, nothing, nothing OTT, nothing over the top in that, so. But yeah, once again, you just come on the map and do side work if you wish. There is one meadow. And actually, what meadow is that? Ah, yeah, it would be this one here to our right, I'm assuming. Fill 50. By the looks of it, no. See what else has got in it? Oh no, it has got grass in it, so... I was right, it's just the grass is growing. So yeah, that's all you got is that one grass meadow. All you got your field four and that. That's got nothing in it, I'm assuming. It's just been harvested. Again, could have elapsed as I was been doing the map tour and that. Because sometimes, when you load onto maps and that, it just... Sometimes they'll just automatically do stuff in that shrill way. But anywho, actually I'm wondering. I'll have a little quick look up there in a sec because... Actually as well, like... You can buy 32, but there is an area there that you can't own. That's I'm curious. Actually, you know what? Once we've had a look down here now at Johnson's Farmer's Market and Sawmill... I'm going to head up north and yeah, have a look at these two areas because, yeah, of course we just went past it in that whilst we were doing the map tour, but I guess I'm assuming that's just a plough field, right? Oh, no, 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 yeah, it's just a plough field. But yeah, I am curious about plot 32 and that little tiny area there. What is that? Um, Why is it like that? And there we go, at the sawmill. Got a nice little pond there to our right. And yeah, very, yeah, same old, same old. Ooh, I think we found another collectible. And yeah, again, you'll find these dotted all over the place, I'm sure. It won't take much to find all 100 collectibles. It's like with, like, Earn Grand Map. With the vanilla map, it's just a case of know where you're looking for. Again, yeah, maybe some on the roof snap. Apart from those curveballs in general, it's actually not too bad. So we've got a nice little suburban settlements here. We've got some locals. And yeah, we'll hook a right here as we join back onto the main road. And we won't indicate. So yeah, we've got Johnson's Farms Market Act. Alright, that's just down that way. May have slightly of shot. Oh no, 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 can approach. Is that a site for Johnson's Farms Market? Ooh, fresh produce. 
do mind if I do. So yeah. Down here we've got yeah, Johnson's Farmer's Market. Again, just it's nicely well done. It's not just a cell point that has just been whacked down. Okay, I will admit I do question the sort of grading from tarmac to concrete. But again, that's just me, and that's a small thing to sweat over about. As I do with a lot of my map tours, like, I'm honest, the thing seemed a bit weird, seems a bit odd. Tell you what, I'll just say as it is. And yeah, if I need to be corrected, what fine, sure, do that. But for the most part, I won't say I'm right, but I just sort of speak my mind. And I'm honest with these maps, like, if I like it, I like it. If I thought this map was rubbish, if I thought it was shit and that, then what? I'll be very much up front with that. But you what? This map is a good map, that is. Yeah, it's not a court farming act, but. Not every map can be like a court farming act, but still. Fresh counter plus three. But yeah, as I was saying. I well, should know off the as I was saying, but. Yeah, in general, like with my maps and that, my map tours. I says that as it is, and I'm quite up front with that. And once again, another collectible as for past war tower. But yeah, I do like how like, the roads like intertwine, like the merging and diverging. It's not, it's not jarring, if that's the words. It's not out there, it's not in your face, like in terms with here's road, then bam, here's a turn in. It's very fluid, if that makes any kind of sense. But you know what, let's head up north a sec, because, yeah, I want to have a quick look on what that little error is. It's like it's coloured and that spelled differently. I am very curious indeed. And you know what? No, there was absolutely nothing here. I thought, oh, would be something interesting, something a bit intriguing. See, I thought, ooh, why can't you own this area, Nat? But yeah, like, I thought, wait overnight, Nat. Left the map run for a little bit, and... Thought in case something happened, or something popped up. But no, unfortunately nothing happened. However, I do have one critique of this map, and it is... It does break the immersion, it does. Again, it's going to be a, a constructive criticism. Nothing more, but just sort of like how the map ends, and I like you go here and there you go, you fit the boundary net, fit blended into the landscape. You know what? That would be fine. Like how you got like the trees here now, just like sticking up in the air, sticking up trees now, and, and like the textures and that on the ground. Again, I'm not sure if that's a conflict with the map, well, not con map conflict, but an issue with the map itself, or what? Maybe it needs an update. Yeah, pretty sure it'll need an update at some point to fix these floating trees. The ground itself, I'm, honestly, I'm not fussed with, to be honest. More the floating trees. Because with that, I can just imagine that being a tunnel. If it was a bit smoothed out with the terrain or something, you know, just create a little tunnel into the ground. Then you're sure I can believe that. But yeah, the floating trees. The floating trees. But, anyways, besides from that, I think we've come to the end of the map tour. Like, again, as I mentioned before, it's a farmer's paradise. If you just want to come onto a map and just farm, then this is the map for you. It's got some productions, not too much. Got a little bit of the anti so you can build your own farm. Like with this area here, you can demolish all of this, clear all these trees off with the devour net, and create your own custom farmyard. And guess what? It would work now, that would work quite well. So, yeah, just again, the creation is up to one's ima imagination trying to figure out a way to end map tour here. But, anyways. As always, hope you enjoyed the map tour. If so, smash that button, 
Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for as you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, just be from Evil Extreme. And, I'll see you all very soon.